Bridge School Plus would work with a large Swiss event. In this case, going back to the 2013 Atlanta National, nice thing this is this is a list of all the events. I can search. There's 380 events. So just by typing in Swiss in the search, it just reduces the number that are displayed. And I'm going to go ahead and um, start with the the first day, which was Saturday, August the 10th. Uh, it's a little bit confusing, but that was the first day. This one is actually the second day, and this is the data that comes from ACBL score. This is the data that was imported. So it, it does get very confusing you know, how the old code works. So here's the North American Swiss with those 154 teams um, that entered. And we can look at the names. This is no different than we've looked at before. It takes a, a little while just to download the 154 teams, again, with a lot of uh, debug in place there. And we can look at what the display that players would have seen. In fact, I did actually have this running in the Atlanta 2013, but we did not do any display. Um, So what shows there is the it, it's only showing 40 teams per screen. Well, that's not very good. So we're going to increase the number of teams per page. So we're going to display 80. And the next time around, there we go. We get 80 teams being displayed. A little confusing again because data has been imported from ACBL score. So the, the, the table assignments, it knows that uh, north south was at A21. Um, when we import, we need to remove the space here and we need to calculate where the east west table is. It's not always obvious given how ACBL score works. We can only do our best for importing all the different data types. But here we have um, 158. Teams, we can see uh, the impact of the last round. And one of the things we'll then do is bring up the, this is, this is the leaderboard. We'll just bring that up in a, in a different page. So similar information, we can uh, edit various attributes about, um, about the team, the entry number, the team number, uh, the captain name in this case was um, was Lieberman, but we could actually with ACBL score plus, bridge score plus, we can actually specify a team name. So the most common one is probably, most well known is probably Team Monaco. So instead of being known as the Zimmerman team, we could actually, you know, type in, uh, type in Monaco here. In this case, it's uh, Lieberman. And the, the team name slash captain changes. For the uh, leaderboard, we have the position, the number of wins, number of matches played, their raw score, the adjustments. Very nice thing about the JavaScript is with these little arrows, we can just um, very quickly readjust this table. So if we want to see the teams that got adjustments, there are only two teams there that actually got adjustments. Obviously, we always want to sort by the final score. This is from the bottom up, and this is from the, the top down. So you see how quickly, um, if we want to sort by the number of wins, we get the, the final score. You see how quickly the software is when, we, when we're able to use JavaScript. So that's just showing that uh, a large event uh, can be run quite easily with Bridge Score Plus.